Berkeley County has seen a significant increase in deaths as a result of drug overdoses this year, more than any other unnatural cause of death. But the county coroner's office is teaming up with local organizations in hopes to combat some of those numbers. Autumn Klein joining us live from the coroner's office in Monk's Corner to tell us more about these numbers and the changes they plan to make in the new year. Autumn. Michael, the Berkeley County coroner said that as of October, they had confirmed 56 drug overdose deaths, but they are anticipating to have around 15 more once they complete their toxicology reports. The coroner said that this increase in numbers is not county specific and that he works closely with Charleston and Dorchester County coroners, and they see that it is an issue across the state. The Berkeley County Coroner's Office established an overdose fatality review board in June to address this issue and has been meeting every month since. 30 different agencies are a part of this board, including hospitals and law enforcement, and the goal is to see if there's anything these organizations can do differently to prevent more overdose deaths from happening. Since the overdose fatality review board was initiated, they have already made several changes. The coroner's office is now allowed to distribute Narcan to anyone who wishes to carry it, no questions asked. They have also been working closely with recovery organizations like the Kennedy Center in Wake Up Carolina to help people with drug addictions before they worsen. Hartwell says they plan to continue this work more in the new year and do everything they can to lower the number of overdose deaths. We are just trying to prevent these deaths from occurring, trying to prevent another loved one, another family member to, to have to go through this very tragic, tragic situation that many families are going through. Um, Wake Up Carolina has plans to build a center here in Berkeley County in 2024 and hopes to expand their efforts to the county and have a greater impact. I'll have more on that tonight at 7. Reporting live in Monk's Corner, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.